It's clearing up. Easier to sneak on board after dark. Shoot him! Keep him away from the ship! We 
Got him. Return to your stations. Hold! It's the Witcher! Emperor's orders! Stand down! Witcher, what a pleasant surprise. Warm welcome. Thank you, your majesty. We are at war, if you've not noticed. I've noticed. I can see the smoke from burning huts miles away. What do you want? Fringilla Vigo. Been told you promised Yennefer you'd free her. I can see. I know you're a busy man. So here's a letter. Ought to refresh your memory about the Lodge. Even Yennefer's humblest requests seem like threats. I've always liked that about her. Very well, so be it. Truly prepared to forgive them? Amnesty in exchange for help? I'm prepared to abide by the agreement I made with Yennefer. Didn't answer my question. Nor must I. Time I was on my way. At last, a point we agree on. Guards! Bring me Fringilla Vigo. You may remove her dimeritium shackles. No introductions are necessary from what I've heard. Farewell. Fringilla. Been a while. The other sorceresses. They're on Ginvale, near Ard Skellig. We could take a boat. I'm sick to death of boats. And I despise teleports. But have it your way. Let's go. Jilla Vigo. Philippa, a pleasure as always. Come now, we need none of that. Fringilla, we must speak. Oh my. Yes, Geralt? So long, Triss. Going somewhere? Siri says there's a site in Skellige we must examine. Avalach's clearly hiding something from us. Earlier, when we were in the Isles together, Avalach mentioned a laboratory. At one point, he wished to teleport there, to retrieve something. And he refused to take me with him. It was all very strange. Sufficiently suspicious, don't you think? Making too much of it. Avalach's as secretive as any elf. What are your suspicions exactly? I don't know, Geralt. I have a feeling it's important. Come with us. Fine. Where is it? On a small isle between Undvik and Spikerog. Not exactly on our way. Just found out the sunstone's on Ard Skellig. Cavern along the coast that we can only access from the sea. Gonna need some real magic to get in, too. Go find this laboratory. I'll explore Ard Skellig. You can join me later. Philippa, your eyesight. Only just recovered and magically simulated. Didn't you say you'd need some time to get accustomed? Did I? I'd forgotten how irritating she can be. Come, Siri. We'll await you there. Yes, Geralt? So long, Triss.
Yes, Geralt? Tell me something more about Caranthir. Know him well? Know him? I reared him. Raised, don't you mean? No, Geralt. I began shaping him long before he was born. For centuries, I brought together pairs of elves manifesting certain abilities, those able to manipulate time and space. He is the result of these efforts. Caranthia, a golden child. Golden child who grew up to be a criminal. Margarita any better? I managed to accelerate tissue regeneration. She's feeling much better. In fact, we must bring Eridin here as soon as possible. Otherwise, I'm afraid these sorceresses of yours will start fighting amongst themselves. From the look of things, pretty soon Siri won't need your help anymore. Nor yours. True. She'll do whatever she wants, and I'll support her. What about you? Ready to let her live her own life? I shan't force her to do anything, if that's your question. Still haven't explained why we need to mess around with this subterfuge instead of just killing girls. Because we would gain nothing in the short term. And we might not live to see the long term. With Gels, it is not what he does on the battlefield, but beyond it. He manipulates, lies, keeps the NL in check. Remove that pawn from the board, and you won't change the outcome of the match. Keep it there, and you could use it to change the rules. Charming world you and L have got. Could easily fall in love with the place. Tell me. How do you do it? Sit around playing flute, painting rutting unicorns in gorgeous landscapes, building ornately sculpted towers? And then you murder us, without batting an eye, without a hint of guilt. How? Do you humans feel guilt when you murder Enshe elves? Or dwarves? Or dryads? We are the same. Simply because we both firmly believe others are inferior. <laughs> you imprisoned Siri the first time you met her. Now you protect her while fighting against your own kind. Quite an about face. First of all, I did not imprison her. She found me. It was her destiny. Yeah, sure. Get to the second of all. Why are you helping her? Because she is a danger. A mortal one. You look at her and see a human. A ward. A daughter, even. I look and see the Elder Blood. A power that can destroy the world. A power that must be kept from Eridin's power-addled hands at all costs. Admittedly, our motives differ. Yet in spite of that, we share a goal. So, you would be wise to trust me. Or at least try. So long. Lookie, Mr. Fancy Pants! your step. Hey, Drink last night too? 